thousands of tourists stranded in Peru are being evacuated and taken back home to safety. Massive protests and violent clashes have thrown the country into a state of emergency. At least 20 people have died and almost 600 have been injured in the tumult, which also saw roads and airports blocked. The wave of protests across the country began after former president Pedro Castillo was impeached in early December, just after he tried to illegally dissolve Congress. Castillo was taken into custody and his supporters took to the street. Then Vice President Dina Boluarte assumed the presidency and is now leading a transitional government to the anger of many Peruvians. I'm only fulfilling the constitutional mandate. There's a group saying Dina to step down. But what will be solved by my quitting? Is the problem solved? The problem won't be solved. We will be firm until Congress approves to bring forward elections. At least 4,500 people traveling in the region were stuck in different parts of the country for much of last week. Authorities said that by the end of Sunday, all tourists would leave. Israel began evacuating nationals stranded in Peru with two insurance companies announcing the mission was completed on Sunday morning. The foreign ministry reiterated its travel warning. Due to political developments in Peru and the declaration of a state of emergency for the next month, we highly recommend Israelis staying in Peru to avoid as much as possible attending any gathering or going to places where demonstrations are taking place, as well as to pay attention to media outlets and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs announcements. We highly recommend Israelis who are planning to arrive in Peru to be cautious and and stay up to date with the situation on the ground. Peru has seen five presidents in six years. Most have been under investigation for corruption. On the streets now are mostly Castillo supporters. The first left-wing leader in a generation was supposed to represent workers and rural groups, disillusioned with and tired of the political elite.